Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be doing this fall glam makeup look a lot of gold and orange brown tones to it it's my first kind of eyeshadow video besides my past Halloween one where I did kind of a black smoky eye but I'm not really that good at eyeshadow I'm just start beginning to really learn it so this is the first look that I'm gonna show you guys a fall makeup glam so let's get started with the video so we're going to start out by priming. I'm going to prime with the Nivea Men Post Shave So I'm going to start off by priming. I'm going to be priming with the... Nah. So to start off, I'm going to be priming... Uh -huh. So to start off, I'm going to be priming with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. If you guys do know a primer that will make your makeup last all day, then let me know. I want to try out some new ones. To smooth up my pores, I'm going to be using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. And I'm just going to be applying this to my T-zone. So I just did my brows. If you guys do want to see an updated eyebrow routine, then let me know in the comments down below. I will put the one that I do have on my channel right now, which was posted about like a year ago. I do have things that I do differently so I'll put it right here for you guys so before I start my foundation and everything else I'm gonna be doing my eyes I'm gonna be priming with this essence I love stage eyeshadow base and I'm gonna be setting that with the Laura Mercier translucent powder make sure there's no creasing So the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. For my transition shade, I'm going to be using the shade Burnt Orange. I'm going to be using a clean blending brush to blend it out a bit. So for my crease, I'm going to be taking the shade Real Girl, and then I'm going to take a bit of Red Ochre right after that. The tiniest, tiniest bit of Red Ochre. And I'm switching between brushes. I'm actually going to take some of the transition shade so that it will be more prominent to blend it out better. I'm going to be taking Cypress Umber and I'm going to add it to the outer third of my eye. Taking that same brush that I used for my crease to blend it out of it. Now moving on to my lid color, I'm going to be adding this NYX Glitter Primer so that the glitter will stick on. So for my glitter, I'm going to be using this NYX glitter, what, NYX face and body glitter in the shade gold, I believe it is. Yep, gold. I'm going to be using that same brush I used for my outer third to blend that out. And then the same brush for my crease also. I'm just going to be applying mascara. The mascara I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Lash Sensational in black the waterproof version for falsies i'm going to be using these ardell soft touch lashes these are new ones that they just made it's in the style 156 so before we finish the eyes i'm just going to remove the excess glitter and i'm going to move on to my foundation so for foundation i'm going to be using the fit me matte and poreless in the shade 220 natural beige I'm going to be spot concealing with this NYX Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade 6.3 Fresh Beige. For actual concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. 
I always like to spray my beauty blender when I'm doing concealer with Fix Plus. Before I set everything with powder, I like to use the Urban Decay DC like makeup setting spray, which is for oil control. I usually like to use this that I, so that I don't get oily throughout the day. I'm gonna be using the same Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set my concealer. To set my face, I'm gonna be using the Fit Me Maybelline um, foundation powder in the same shade as my actual foundation. I just cleaned all my brushes that I'm gonna use for the video. They're still kind of wet. To dust off my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Shade and Light palette, and I'm gonna be using that yellow shade called Lyric. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep shade. To contour, I'm going to be using that same Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm going to be using this grayer tone. Hello? Hello? So, I'm going to be contouring my nose with the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. So I'm going to be using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. Okay, I don't have an orange tone blush, so I'm probably just going to use my Milani Luminoso blush. I like to take some on my nose. To clean up my contour, I'm just going to use a sponge wedge, spray it with some Fix Plus. I'm going to use the outer edge right here with the same Laura Mercier translucent powder. So while my contour cleanup is baking, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Whiskey, which is just a brown color, to tight line my eyes and also my waterline. I'm gonna first take that Rialgar shade, which is the darker orange. And then I'm gonna use that burnt orange, which is the lighter orange. I don't usually like to do my bottom lashes because I have none. So now I'm gonna just dust off the baking with the same foundation powder. For my lips, I'm gonna be using the MAC Spice Lip Liner. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be using the Dose of Colors, the Daisy and Katie collab. And I'm gonna be using the gloss called Over the Top, which has like gold like glistens in it so it can match our eyelids. Just so that our makeup will last all day, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I think I just used the last of it. I totally almost forgot, but I'm just gonna use the shade Primavera from the same Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm gonna highlight this inner corner. So I think that completes this fall makeup glam for you guys. If you like this eyeshadow look, my first eyeshadow look, then leave a comment down below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.